Hello. So, so far we have talked about the class A output stage and the class B output stage. Class A output stage was characterized by transistors that were always on, even when the load was not drawing any current. And so therefore it had the worst uh, power efficiency, but the transistors were always in the linear region of operation and therefore it had good linearity. Versus the class B output stage where uh, the quiescent current through the transistors was essentially zero and the transistors were only conducting when an input signal uh, was applied to the circuit. So it had better power efficiency than the class A, but because there was a dead band region uh, where the input signal was in between plus minus 0.7 volts, that generated some crossover distortion, so um, not a very linear response. A compromise between the two in terms of performance can be achieved via the class AB output stage. And what we're doing in the class AB output stage is essentially adding um, a small quiescent current to our transistors. Um, I've represented it there. I've drawn the same push-pull configuration as we have seen previously for the class B stage. But notice that now I have included some biasing voltages um, connected to the basis of the QN and QP transistors, um, which are labeled uh, VBB halves applied to the base of QN and uh, negative VBB halves or VBB halves below V in to the um, to the base of QP. And so essentially what those are going to do is that uh, even when my input voltage is equal to zero, assuming that my VBB quantity is large enough, uh, both of my transistors are going to be still on. And so there's going to be some quiescent current, non-zero quiescent current, uh, which I've labeled it as ICQN, equal ICQP, uh, which is going to be equal to, by the Shockley equation, IS, which is the saturation current, e to the VBB divided by 2 times VT. Uh, so that non-zero quiescent current is going to be dependent on VBB, essentially. And we want VBB to be sufficient to turn on those base emitter junctions. So I've drawn here uh, in those three plots on the right-hand side what's going on with the uh, currents as the input voltage changes. So notice the first plot represents the input voltage applied over an entire cycle versus the angle, so from 0 to 2 pi. And let's assume a sinusoidal input voltage. And uh, uh, when my voltage goes positive, that means I will be sourcing current towards my load uh, through QN. And so that's uh, represented there with a positive value for my load current. And then in a negative half cycle, I am sinking current into the output stage uh, through the load. And that's represented with a negative value for that load current. Uh, value is negative with respect to the direction of the current indicated by the, uh, the arrow on the circuit. And so notice that um, in this case, I will have my um, IC for my N and P transistors, and as expected, during the positive half cycle, my V in will go up, my V out goes up, my transistor QN conducts current, but notice that my transistor QP uh, never gets really turned off. It's still conducting the quiescent current. And then as my input voltage reaches zero, you can see that both transistors are conducting and uh, there is a, a crossing over period there where um, it's, it's a very smooth transition between the current through the N transistor, through the NPN transistor decreasing and the current through the PMP transistor increases uh, so that the transition from one to the other is a smooth transition. The transition from sourcing current to sinking current. And therefore it eliminates that crossover distortion that we used to see at the output. And we can see that very clearly in the voltage transfer characteristic where we will now get um, a perfectly straight line, except once we reach the saturation regions um, for large values of the output voltage. Values that, uh, that reach VCC uh, minus the saturation voltage. So this is how the class AB output stage operates. Now we need to find practical ways of implementing that additional biasing at the basis of transistors QN and QP. And there are uh, different ways of implementing such biasing scheme. 